Hi everyone. We'll continue with our question 34 on geometry part 3. In the figure, ABCD is a straight line. So I know this is a straight line. BD EF is a parallelogram. So I know this is a parallelogram. Which is given here. So, for a parallelogram, I need to know that I have parallel lines. Okay? And angle B, F, A, B is 90 degree because it is a right angle and we are given these two angles. Now, we are going to find angle X. Okay? Angle X lies here. I'm going to explain this to you. This is 40 degree. This is angle X. You see this triangle here. So angle X is angle outside this uh, triangle. We call this exterior angle of a triangle. I can take 90 degree plus 40 degree, which is 130 degree. So angle X I know is 130 degree. Alternatively, I can find this angle, which is angle A, B, F. So angle B, A, B, F we know is 180 minus 90 minus 40 which is 50 degree. Angle X will be 180 minus 50 is 130 because it is angles on a straight line. Right? So this, this is something that we learned. This is called the exterior angle of a triangle. Of a triangle, sorry. Alright, now let's look at this angle. Angle X, angle F, E, D, is 130 degree because, because it is opposite angles in a parallelogram and so angle C E F is 130 degree minus 20 degree which is 110 degree so I know this is 110 degree now angle Y lies inside here which is an isosceles triangle how do I know I see this and this is the same so therefore, angle Y is 180 degree minus 110 degree divided by 2, which is 35 degree. So angle Y is 35 degree, angle X is 130 degree. In the figure, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Again, I will draw the parallel lines to show the parallelogram. C, E, F, D is a rhombus. So rhombus, I know they have two pairs of parallel lines as well as when I know that a rhombus which is diagonally cut into half it is an isosceles triangle because all the sides are the same so I know this side is equal to this side therefore this angle is equal to this angle 24 degree so immediately I know I can find this angle which is angle D C D F is 180 degree minus 24 degree minus 24 degree which is 132 degree so I write down here 132 degree angle B A D and this is 180 degree right because this is angles between two sides in a parallel lines so now I need to find this angle which is angle C, D, A. Angle C, D, A is 360 degree minus 90 degree minus 132 degree, which is 138 degree. So this is angles at the point. I take 360 minus these two angles. So now I want to find angle D, A, B, which is 180 degree minus 138 degree. And the answer is 42 degree. So under angle D, A, B is 42 degree. Question 36. In the figure, A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Now, trapezium has one pair of parallel lines. Let's look. A, B, C, D. This and this cannot be parallel lines because they will meet Okay, after some time. So I know these two lines are parallel lines. They will not meet. So E is a point on A, D such that AB is equal to BE, which means that this is an isosceles triangle. So first, I need to find 
what is this right so I know immediately this and this will add up to 180 degree because angles between two sides in the parallel lines so I need to find angle BAE which is 180 degree minus 110 degree which is 70 degree so this is 70 I know this is also 70 so now I need to find what is this angle because this angle angle EBC lies inside this four-sided figure right so first I need to find what is this how to find this I take 180 degree this is angle BED 180 minus 100 and uh, minus 70 degree angles on a straight line right so this is 110 degree so now angle E B D C will be 360 minus 110 minus 110 minus 62 which is 78 degree because this is four sided figure so all the angles will add up to 360 degrees so you minus all this we we'll get this angle so angle E B C is 78 degree question 37 figure A B C is a straight line so let's look at this even this okay I'm going to draw out so that I can see clearly such that a y is equals to so I know this is a try this is an isosceles triangle this is also an isosceles triangle right so now I want to find this angle this angle lies inside this big triangle so I need to find what is this angle and what is this angle first so to find this angle I need to know this find this angle angle x a y I need to what to know what is this angle so let's look at this I know this whole thing is 107 degree okay so I want to find what is this angle here this angle will be 180 this angle I call a y x So angle AYX would be 180 minus 107 degree, which is 73 degree. So this is 73 degree. Therefore, angle XAY would be 180 minus 73 minus 73. Angle sum of triangle, which is 34 degree. So this is 34 degree. I'm going to use another different color to find the other angle the other angle will be this angle here how to find this angle I know this whole angle is 104 degree right this whole angle is 104 how to find this angle I take 180 minus 104 will give me this angle here right so now angle angle B Y Z will be 180 degree minus 104 degree which is 76 degree so I know this is 76 degree this is also 76 degree isosceles triangle therefore angle Y B Z will be 180 minus 76 degree minus 76 degree which is 28 degree so I write down here 28 degree now I can find this angle therefore angle ACB is 180 minus 34 degree here minus 28 degree and the answer is 118 degree in the diagram ABC and DEF are equilateral triangles so equilateral I will write down the angle 60 60 60 GCFH is a straight line so I know this is a straight line so now I can find this angle in order for me to find angle X I need to know what are the other angles here angle X lies inside this four sided figure I will draw and show you four sided figure is this one 
two, three, four. So I want to find this angle, right? So first, I need to find this angle. How to find this angle? We call this angle D F C. Angle D F C will be hundred eighty minus ninety two minus sixty, which is twenty eight degree. So I know this is twenty eight degree. I will write down, and this angle here, angle B C F. 180 minus 62 minus 60. You know how? Because it's angles on a straight line, which is 58 degree. Children, I want you to look at this triangle. Yeah. Can you see? Now, to find angle X, I need to know what is this triangle. This angle is still unknown, so I need to find what is this angle. To find this angle, I know I can use exterior angle of a triangle, which I take this angle here. We call this angle T, B, T, F, which is 58 degree plus 28 degree, which is 86 degree. Alternatively, I can take 180 minus 58 minus 28. Eight, which is 94 degree and take 180 minus 94 will give you 86 right so find angle X I take 360 minus 60 degree here minus 60 degree minus 86 degree and the answer is 154 degree so under angle X is 154 degree in the diagram, A, B, C, D is a square. So a square, I know all sides are the same. Q, M. Q, M is also the side of A, B, right? So Q, M is the same as Q, P, which is the side, is the same as Q, N, which means that this is the same as this is the same as this and make what does this show us this is an equilateral triangle so this is 60 degree right this is 60 this is 60 if I cut this into two I know this part here is 60 divided by 2 which is 30 degree therefore angle P Q, N is 30 degree. Right? Now, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's look at now. We look at this part here. This triangle. Triangle P, Q, N. Can you see that the triangle P, Q, N is, a, is an isosceles triangle? Right? So I know I can find this and this. They are the same. This triangle, right? So angle Q Q and P is 180 degree minus 30 degree divided by 2, which is 75 degree. So this is 75, 75. So this is the same as this. So therefore, angle MPN is 75 degree times 2 which is 150 degree we have come to the end of the PSLE booklet on geometry goodbye